Philadelphia. Um, I do not think the Philadelphia Eagles will be a playoff team. Um, that said, roster-wise, they're very good. I think this is kind of the year where the wheels fall off for Jalen Hurts. Um, you look at his numbers since he became the starter. They're not good. That's no, not good. Not a very good passer. That's what it comes down to for me. That's great that you add A.J. Brown. You need a quarterback who can throw it to him, though. Like when the, like when the Raiders traded for, for Randy Moss. That's great. You got Randy Moss, but you got Kerry Collins throwing in the ball. To an extent, a receiver is only as good as his quarterback. Jalen Hurst just isn't a good quarterback. He's fun to watch. He's a great fantasy quarterback. He can run all over the place and whatnot. Very athletic. Not a good passer. That's what it comes down to for me of Philadelphia. They have a great roster. Don't get me wrong. If they had anybody else at quarterback, I would fear Philadelphia. I would be all over the Eagles. I think that their better quarterback is the one sitting behind Jalen Hurts. They're starting Gardner Minshew. I would, and I'm not even saying this to be stupid. I'm not saying this to, oh my God, he's just saying this to get clicks. I genuinely believe, and you can go back and look at Gardner Minshew. Look at his numbers compared to Jalen Hurts. He's a better passer than Jalen Hurts. That's not really debatable. I understand that Jalen Hurts is more athletic, puts up more fantasy points. Gardner Minshew overall is the better quarterback. I will die on that hill. We'll die on that hill. I'll actually do a tweet later where I compare their numbers. If you go back and look at Gardner's numbers from that year in Jacksonville that he was a starter compared to Jalen Hurts, the passing numbers at least. And again, I know that Jalen Hurts is fun to watch. He can run around all over the place. You need somebody who can pass the ball. Now, again, I know I've ragged on Lamar Jackson. He's gotten marginally better as a passer since he came into the league. I'm not, he's not an elite passer, but he's gotten a lot better. If the, if the Ravens had gotten A.J. Brown, I would be a lot higher on Baltimore. I don't, Frank, I don't care that the Eagles got A.J. Brown. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it's that I don't care. <laughs> I mean, defense, I love what they are defensively, man. I do. Barry Slay had a very good, you know, welcome to Philadelphia year. I was happy to see that for him. And after all those years in Detroit, you know, they get to the playoffs and then they get to the playoffs and Jalen Hurts goes 13 for a million against the Buccaneers. He plays like hell. And then we all kind of realize, oh, yeah, the Eagles didn't beat anybody good this year. Which, by the way, they didn't. Go back and look at their schedule. Who'd they lose to? They lost to the Chargers. Who'd they beat? They beat the likes of the Saints. I'd have to go back and look at everybody. I'll actually pull that up right now. This is on the fly journalism. On the fly. Again, I'll look at who all they beat because it's no one impressive. And anytime they had a chance to beat somebody, they did not. Especially in the playoffs when the Buccaneers curb stomped them. And it was ugly. It was not good for the Philadelphia Eagles. So let me pull it up here. It's loading. All right. So they beat the Falcons. Great. They lose to San Francisco. Get humiliated by Dallas. They gave up back-to-back 40-point games. They gave up 41 to Dallas, 42 to Kansas City in a loss. They beat the Panthers by three. Lost to Tampa Bay in a game that wasn't as close as the score says. You remember that Thursday night game. The Eagles were the beneficiaries of two pass interference calls that set them up inside the red zone both times, and that's how they got those touchdowns. That game was not as close as 28 to 22. It was horrible. Um, lose to Las Vegas. Beat the Lions. Lose to the Chargers. Beat Denver. Beat the Saints. Lose to the Giants. Beat the Jets. Beat Washington. Beat the Giants. Beat Washington. Lose to Dallas, giving up 51. Now, if my math is correct, let me go through this again. To get a little bit of a, a read on this. Yeah, they didn't beat a playoff team last year. Again, I don't care that the Eagles got A.J. Brown. If they had a quarterback that was good at getting his receivers the ball, I would. But they don't. So I don't care. Love A.J. Brown. I think he's very good. I don't think Jalen Hurts is very good. So I'm not worried about the Eagles at all. Their defense will keep them in games. 
they're at maximum to me a seven eight win team. They didn't beat a team that was a playoff team last year. I don't think they beat a team with a winning record last year, did they? Let's see. Atlanta, no. Carolina, no. Detroit, no. Denver, no. New Orleans, they beat New Orleans. Uh, they beat one team with a winning record, and it was the Saints. And the Saints, let's be honest, the Saints were not a good football team. For most of the year, they had Simeon. So let's call a spade a spade here. <laughs> and then, they, like I said, they got curb stomped by Tampa Bay. I'm not worried about the Eagles.